Hello, welcome to the video lecture on underwater navigation system. Unit 1 Basics of Underwater Communication. In this, we are going to discuss introduction to underwater acoustics, understanding thermoclines in ocean water, subsea communication sensors, instruments, and applications sound propagation in the ocean sound velocity profiles in the deep water and shallow water, sound automation in the sea communication and the limitations. First we are going to see the introduction to underwater acoustics. What is the underwater acoustics? Underwater acoustics or hydroacoustics in the study of propagation of sound in water and the interaction of the mechanical waves that constitute sound with the water, its content and its boundaries. The water may be in the ocean, a lake, a river, or a tank. The figure 1.1 shows transmission loss versus birth uh, versus depth. Here, the transmission loss increases as uh, depth increases. Frequency range. Typical frequencies associated with the underwater acoustics are between 10 Hz and 1 MHz. The propagation of sound in the ocean at frequencies lower than 10 Hz is usually not possible without penetrating deep into the seabed, where frequencies above 1 MHz are rarely used because they are observed very quickly. Monitoring physical and biological characteristics. Hydroacoustics using sonar technology is most commonly used for monitoring, monitoring of underwater physical and biological characteristics. Hydroacoustics can be used to detect the, the depth of a water body called as stratimetry, as well as the presence of absence, abundance, distribution, size and behavior of the underwater plants and animals. Hydroacoustic sensing involves passive acoustics, listening for sounds, or active acoustics. What do you mean by active acoustics? Making a sound and listening for the echo. Since the common name for the device is called as echo sounder or uh, echo sounder. Figure 1.2 shows a sample of uh, a animated picture, collection of multi beam using sonar data. Sound waves in water or bottom of sea. How sound waves propagated in water, uh, 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 water surface and bottom of sea. A sound wave propagating underwater consists of alternating compression and drag fraction of the water. These compressions and drag fractions are directed by a receiver such as the human ear or a hydrophone, as changes in the pressure. Speed of sound. What is the notation used to measure the speed of sound? C. When the speed of sound C is given by F into lambda, what is F? Frequency in head, wavelength lambda in meter. Sound observation. The main cause of sound automation in fresh water and at high frequencies in sea water is viscosity. Particularly above 100 kHz, this is very severe. Sound may be observed by losses at the fluid boundaries. Fluid boundaries. Near the surface of the sea, losses can occur in the bubble layer or in ice. It occurs at the bottom. In ice, at the bottom, sound can propagate into the sediment and be observed. Sound reflection and scattering. Both the water surface and bottom are reflecting and scattering boundaries. The sea air surface can be thought, as, thought of as a perfect reflector. At high frequency, above 1 kilohertz, when the, uh, or when the sea is rough, some of the incident sound is scattered, and this is taken into account by assigning a reflection coefficient whose magnitude is always less than 1. The, bu the bubbles can also form plumps, plumps, T-L-U-M-E-S, plumps that absorb some of the instant and scattered sound and scatter some of the sound to the seabed. The acoustic impedance mismatch between the water and the bottom is generally much less, much less than at the surface and is more complex. At a target, what happened to the target? The reflections of sound at a target whose dimensions are large compared with the acoustic wavelength depends on its size and shape as well as the impedance of the target relative to the, uh, that of water. Propagation of sound. Underwater acoustic propagation depends on many factors. Out of those many factors, we are going to discuss some of the few important factors affecting the underwater acoustic propagation. One is underwater pressure, another one is speed gradient. In the speed gradient, which in turn depends on reflection, refraction, and dispersion. And uh, final important parameter is the surface temperature. Propagation modeling. 
The progression of sound through water is described by the wave equation with appropriate boundary condition, both electric uh, boundary condition and uh, magnetic boundary condition. Reverberation. Transient sounds result in a decaying background that can be of much larger duration than the original transient signal. Transient signal always a decaying nature uh, with respect to the underwater communication. The cause of this uh, decaying background is known as reverberation. It is partially due to scattering from rock boundaries and partially due to scattering from fish and other uh, living, non-living animals within the underwater. Doppler shift. If an underwater object is moving relative to an underwater receiver, the frequency of the receiver sound is different from that of the sound radiated or reflected by the object. This change in frequency is known as Doppler shift. As far as the underwater, communi the underwater communication, we are going to use Doppler shift to measure the relative velocity of the moving object or immoving object. Intensity fluctuation. The intensity fluctuations in underwater communication is due to small and large scale environmental phenomena. What are the other possibilities uh, for non-linearity in the underwater communication? In water, especially with air bubbles, the change in density due to a change in pressure is not exactly linearly proportional. As a consequence for a sinusoidal wave input, additional harmonic and subharmonic frequencies are generated. When two sinusoidal waves, that is the harmonic and subharmonic harmonic, uh, are input, some and different frequencies are generated, either sensor wave or cosine wave. Because of the non-linearity, there is a dependence of sound, speed and the pressure, amplitude, so that large changes travel faster than small ones. Measurements. What are the techniques used to measure the underwater communication and uh, what are the uh, units used to measure the underwater communication? Sound in water is measured using a hydrophone, which is the underwater equi uh, equivalent of a microphone. A hydrophone measures pressure fluctuation and these are usually converted to sound pressure level, which is logarithmic measure of the mean square acoustic pressure. Measurements are usually reported in two forms. One is with respect to Pascal, another one is with respect to spectral density. RMS, root mean square acoustic pressure in Pascals or sound pressure level in dB. Uh, equal to uh, 1 micro pascals. Spectral density mean square pressure per unit bandwidth in pascals, uh, uh, in pascals squared per hertz. 1 micro pascal square per hertz. So either way we can uh, measure the underwater communication using RMS aquatic, acoustic pressure unit or spectral density. Spectral density usually measured with pascal square per hertz.